Okay, so we're going to change the oil in our Suburban today. So what we're going to go with is it, it's had four factory oil changes. So what we're going to put in is 0 W20 and then the oil filter for synthetic oil and then like kilometers it has on it but it's time for a new air filter. It probably has like 40. Make sure you get the right oil when you're when you're changing your oil. Always look at the book. So for this one, how much did we need? Eight. Uh, eight point eight gallons or something. Was it eight? Well, it was like eight liters. So. Eight like that. So we'll get the creeper out. And we'll find where the oil filter is under this bad boy, and we'll show you that in a minute. I had the camera in the wrong place. <laughs> All right. We need to move this over because what's it going to do? It's going to go like this. It's, it's going to go... spew out. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, dirty. Yeah, go get a rag. <sighs> All right. So I'm going to pull this out. We'll see how much oil I can not get on me here. Oh, there, there, it's the dark and oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think it would go that far. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's a lot of oil, eh? Look at that. Okay, so put this, put this bolt, oil pan bolt, clean it up. And then you gotta make sure you, you keep moving your oil pan over a bit, okay? The attempt to take the I always put these in the weirdest spots. <laughs> so what you want to do is see how I get get it tightened up, Caden. Yep. It's like a band clamp, okay? And then you turn it to the left. And then it'll. Okay. And then you take your wrench off a bit, and then you tighten it up again. And what you want to do is loosen it. Don't oh wait, ew. yeah, let I it forgot drip. about that. Yeah. Um. So you just let it kind of drip itself out. I think the next um, garage we build, we're going to put a car hoist in it. Oh yeah, Dad. Uh, Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I saw one. Get this. You, you just keep loosening the oil filter and it'll... And it'll turn black. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, what, $54 a jug, Caden? We got it yeah, for, 54 and 23 dollars. We got it for 23 dollars. <laughs> Plus we got, so I bought half oil for two oil changes. And I bought two filters too, those were also on sale. So in all we saved, just on the material, over a hundred dollars. Alright, so we're going to spin this off. And I'll go grab the other filter. Okay, if you want to get if you want to get the other filter, Caden, bring it down here in the box too, please. Okay. Which actually I don't know. Don't call me. Okay. 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 All right. All right. We have the filter off. Yeah. Yep. It's an AC Delco filter. So. Nothing wrong with them, I guess, but so you got our new filter? Mm hmm. Alright, right so pull it out of the box. One step. Is it wrapped in plastic? Nope. No. Alright, so what we gotta do. Put it up upside down. Is we gotta get. I don't see it. Oh. Put some oil. Oh. Yeah, on this 
edges. Put the oil, on the some oil on the gasket, okay? You got more room than this. Alright. Yeah, it probably sits. Let's see if I can see that. Fire. Oil filter. Alright, spin this new one on. No, I think someone's burning garbage. So when you're putting these on, Caden, make sure you, mm -hmm. you don't cross them. Or you're in big, big trouble. Cross what? Cross thread the filter onto that filter housing. Okay, so so what does that mean? What I usually do, what, uh, cross the threads. Oh, yeah. Let me see, wait. Where is it? Where would it say? On the front or the back, maybe? Wait. Uh, regardless, just, you get them, get them tight enough. Yeah, it doesn't say. But not too tight. I guess it's just kind of a personal, a personal feel how tight you want to put your filter on. Okay. Plus another thing, what you, what you really need to do is wipe all this oil off. Or else it'll get like super... Oh, it'll get dirty, but yeah. you won't be able to tell if it's been leaking. Okay, so clean every... Once you got your filter and... Clean most of back it in. off. Yeah. Make sure you clean your oil pan bolt off really good, too. Wiping. <laughs> wiping it off. Wiping. Is that even a word? <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright, where's the socket? I wiped No, I don't think it's a word. Wiped it off. Yeah. Alright. Oh, mosquito found us. No! This thing is rustier than your truck. I think so. My truck's a 2011. Oh, this, this is 2015. Watch, watch yourself, I gotta move a bit here. Alright, and don't over tighten this. Or else it'll break. Oil pan bolt. You could strip it. Oh, oil right. filter location 2015 Suburban. And the oil drain bolt plug right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Anybody? So we got the. Fil new filter on to plug back in. So it says right here engine oil with filter. 8.0 liters. 8 liters. Okay, so these are 4.4 uh, liter jugs. So we know it'd be nice if they put a little pull tab on these. Oh, you found a great grandpa screwdriver, huh? So we'll show you. We'll show you a great grandpa screwdriver. Can they see that, Caden? Yeah. And he got a good a lot of good use out of it. All right, here we go. Number one. Nice and slow on this pour. Well, I think that's it, son. For the air filter. Here they are here. They put this fastener right, or this um, air conditioning line, I think, mm -hmm. right in front of the, where you gotta take the bolt out. Right. Brilliant GM, that's just brilliant. <laughs> Take this bolt out, this wiring harness clip off here, swing this bracket over, and you can get to the holy grail of air filters. I can't, I honestly can't tell you when the last time, this might be a two year old air filter, so let's have a look at it. Okay, so we think this is our Oh yeah, it's way dirty. Our two-year-old air filter, so we're we're gonna change it. Take this bolt out here. Then you gotta undo this sensor clip here. 
take this off, swing this arm all the way over to here. Okay. Um, we had this off already. I'm not sure if you need to take that off in that once you do those two steps, but then you undo these four screws here. Screwdriver, a Robertson or a, uh, like a big number three Phillips. And then put your air filter in. Okay, get those four bolts out. I mean, take this off, air filter in, bolt everything back down. Swing this arm back, put the bolt in, and then put your clip on. I think this is like the, the O2 sensor here. I think we'll have to start it. So it's telling me to basically come to the buttons here and reset it and there you go okay so we're almost done our little maintenance work here what we're gonna do though to finish up is change the cabin air filter so what we got to do is as you pull these two you pull in on each side of this glove box okay and you pull that down see a couple of little um, strings here see it there so I'm gonna take that off and hopefully that'll get the um, glove box to flop down properly okay so what I found was this it's like on a recoil thing and it just you can you don't take the string off, you just take it out of this little hole there. All right, I got the last screw coming out. Okay. So I'll see. It is a, it's a T15, Torx 15. Oh, I missed the screw. There's one right there on the side. That little drawstring here. It's just on a pulley. Okay. So it looks like we gotta fish that through the hole. again put a bunch of crap right in the way of something you need to service man you guys are really starting to make me think of buy a different um, vehicle here brand of vehicle because this is getting really bloody annoying having to had to loosen a couple of terminal clips there and it looks like you just tabs here okay there I got it okay so what happens with this little door is it okay, the little door comes out and there's the filter okay so there's um 40,000 kilometer cabin air filter and here's the new one so I think we might um be changing this guy every um, fall or spring every year okay made in China so airflow down okay which is looks like she goes in just like that okay I'll attempt to put this door back on. All right, everything's back together. I haven't put the 
little thing back on, but I'll show you where the screws are. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Just like that. There it is there. Back installed. And you can see the little thing there. Okay. And after that you just push your basically just push your glove box or glove box back in. Done. So besides all the trying to film and everything, it probably took me uh, 15 minutes to do that.